Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie, and in today's video I have a massive summer Primark haul and I am so excited about it because I have never done a Primark haul here on my channel before. Primark is everything. I am obsessed with that store. If you are unfamiliar with what Primark is, it's kind of like a mix between a Forever 21 and an H&M, only like 10 times better in my personal opinion. Everything is dirt cheap. The one in Boston, Massachusetts near me is four floors. Four floors. They have everything from clothing to jewelry to shoes to accessories to makeup to home decor items to bedding and so much more. And everything is just dirt cheap. When I say dirt cheap, I mean it is dirt freaking cheap. I'm just in love with that store. I'm so, so happy that they brought one over to Boston. I've been watching Primark hauls forever, especially on Zoella's channel. She always does Primark hauls and I've been obsessed with all the stuff that she gets there, but we never had one in my area. But again, they brought one over to Boston, Massachusetts, and it's just the best because I try to go there every single season and just stock up on items. I spent $212 on this haul and I got two massive bags full of stuff and then one smaller bag. I got 36 items. 36 items not three, but 36 items for 200 and I believe $15. You cannot beat that. So enough talking. If you guys have any other questions or concerns after watching this video, just ask them in the comments below and let's get hauling. So as always, this haul is going to go in no particular order. I'm just gonna be grabbing things at random out of the bag and showing you what I purchased. So the first thing that I'm pulling out of the bag is probably one of my favorite items that I purchased at Primark this time around. It is a pair of these black and white pinstripe flowy type bottom pants. I am in love with these. These were only $12. $12. You can find these other places for upwards of like $50, $60. They're so comfortable. The quality is really, really nice. And these are absolutely perfect transition pants from summer into fall. I will absolutely be wearing these my very first week back to teaching. Next up, I just got a couple of standard summer items. These are very, very plain tank tops, but they have the thicker strap up top rather than the spaghetti strap. They have the thicker strap, which I personally like more. These are only $3.50, so I got one in black, I got one in gray, and I got one in white. Not too, too much to talk about. They were just really, really cheap, and they're shirts that I wear pretty much all summer. I am so excited about this next outfit. It is hands down going to be my new go-to summer outfit for 2018 and it only cost $21. The whole outfit only cost $21. The first thing that I got in this outfit is this rainbow striped crop top. Like, does this not scream summer to you? I have never seen an item before that screamed summer more. This was $4 and it's so, so freaking cute. So with this little rainbow striped crop top, I picked up a pair of overalls. It is an overall dress and I am just living for this outfit. I love it, I love it so, so much. So right over here, we have the overalls. It has a little pocket right in the center. And then again, it goes into a dress. If you turn it around in the back, it kind of makes a little X. Loving it. The next thing that I purchased is just a pair of lounge shorts. These were only $4. They fit really, really well. They kind of have like the camo army print on them. $4. $4. $4. I'm so happy with everything that I purchased. Not because it's so cute, but because it is so cute and it is so cheap. $4. Yes. Sign me up, please.
Moving right along, I picked up two items that are kind of like summer staple items. I picked up a pair of black ripped jean shorts. They're so, so comfortable. They fit really, really well and they were only $15. And then I picked up this pair of ripped jean shorts that I am so in love with. They have a pattern on the side. So they're ripped right on the bottom right where like the thigh is and then I don't even know what this is it's kind of like a bird and it has a bunch of floral threading on it so so pretty these were $17 which I guess is not the cheapest I think that you could find these elsewhere for the same price but they're just really nice quality they fit really well and again they're so stinking cute I love them Seven dollars. Seven dollars. I got a pair of fake Birkenstocks for seven dollars. Seven dollars. Now, of course, they're not real Birkenstocks, but they are fake Birkenstocks for seven dollars. I usually get my fake Birkenstocks from Target and they're like $25. I bought them from TJ Maxx before or Marshalls, whichever one I went to, and they were like $30 before. $7 and they're white. I've been wanting a pair of white fake Birkenstocks or just white Birkenstocks in general for so long but I just I can't justify spending that much money on Birkenstocks so if I can get them for $7 your girl she's all in. There's so much more in this bag, and this is still only the first bag. Okay, so this is a pair of, oh, this is a pair of leggings for $3.50. $3.50. If you know anything about my life, when I am working, now of course I'm a teacher and it is the summer, so I have the break off, but when I am working, the first thing that I do when I come home is strip down all my teacher clothes and put on a pair of leggings or put on a pair of comfy clothes. So I will of course do that in the summer as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will of course do that in the summer as well, but I bought these more for the fall just to have a couple of pair of leggings. They were $3.50 and they're just your standard black stretchy leggings. The next item is not for me, but because I'm just such a good wife, guys, because I'm such a good wife, I picked something up for my husband. I picked this up for Adam. It was so cheap. It was $7 and it is a graphic t-shirt. Adam loves graphic t-shirts. Look at the quality of this. It's a Super Mario graphic t-shirt. Usually you can't find graphic tees for anything like under $15. Sometimes they're like $20, $25. So they have this one for $7 and he actually, he loves it. I already showed it to him. He really, really likes all the colors and it's just a perfect shirt to either lounge around in or to wear out for like a fun little date night. There are two more items left in just the first bag. That was just the first bag. And the next item is an item that kind of makes me feel like an adult a little bit. I've never purchased one of these before. And I went to Primark with my best friend Amanda and she was like, I wear them all the time. They are life changing. You need to get one. So I purchased myself my very first bodysuit. I've never ever owned a bodysuit. It's actually open right now. So I've never owned a bodysuit before. And let me tell you, she was right. This thing is amazing. I wore this underneath those black and white striped pants and it looked so, so cute. This was only $6 and it is just a black ribbed bodysuit. And the last item in the first bag is this cute blue and white pin stripe off the shoulder top. As you can see right in the front, there are little straps over here. 
I personally don't like these straps, so I'm going to be cutting those off, but it is a button down blouse. Again, it is off the shoulder. It doesn't have the price on here. I can't remember like where the little price tag went. I believe this was $10. It was no more than $10. I'm pretty sure about that. So it was either $10, $9 or $8, but it's just really cute. It's kind of like a perfect summer top. It's very flowy. It's very breezy. You could either tuck this into a pair of shorts or just wear it with a nice pair of like skinny legged black pants. That's how I plan on wearing it. Bag one done. Let's move on to bag number two. So Primark is known for like fandoms. They have a ton of items that celebrate fandoms, whether it's a Disney fandom, it's a Harry Potter fandom, it's an anime fandom, etc. If there's a fandom to be had, Primark usually tends to celebrate it. So I got a couple of items from fandoms. The first one is a Harry Potter shirt. Look how cute this is. Like, can you even? Can you handle this shirt? I'm gonna most likely be cutting this and cropping it. So I'm gonna do like a little DIY crop top with this shirt, but we have the Deathly Hallows, we have the scar, we have a bunch of stars, we have Harry's glasses. It's just so cute. And this was only, this was only $7. And the reason why I want to talk about fandoms is if you've ever been to Universal and been to like Harry Potter world, a shirt like this, and this is licensed by Harry Potter. It says Harry Potter right here. So it's not like a fake version. It's an actual Harry Potter shirt. I have been to Universal and I've been to Harry Potter World several times. And a shirt like this in Harry Potter World would be at least $50. So I just love how Primark like really celebrates the fandoms, but they don't make the cost go up. I hate. I hate when you see a shirt like this in Harry Potter world and they're charging like $45 for just a little piece of cotton. It drives me crazy. So if you guys have a Primark near you, definitely go there if you're looking for some fandom stuff because you cannot beat this price. The quality is amazing and the shirt is just, it's perfect. We of course have to talk about Disney because clearly I'm obsessed with Disney. If you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that my absolute favorite movie in the Disney genre is Beauty and the Beast. Guys, my heart almost exploded when I saw these next items and then it did explode when I saw the price tag. So I found three items that celebrated Beauty and the Beast and then I found one item that celebrated Mickey Mouse that I really wanted. So the first item that I found in the home decor section is this chip mug. It is a chip mug. It is chip blowing bubbles. So if you've ever been to Disney before and you have ever purchased a Disney mug, they're minimum $20. Usually they're $19.99. When I went to Disney last and I purchased my chip mug, I think the chip mug was $25. This awesome quality mug was only $7. $7, and that's not even clearance. That's just like the regular price. It is just genuinely $7. I can't, I like literally can't, I'm obsessed. So we got this little chip mug, I will do a close up in just one second so you can see all the details. This item, I have no words for this item. I literally have no words. I have been searching high and low for this item. If I could show you my eBay search bar, you would see this item on there like a million times and it's $150 on eBay. I can't find it in Disney period. I just, I literally, I don't think they even sell it in the US Disney parks. I found it in Boston, Massachusetts at Primark. It's a Mrs. Potts, a Mrs. Potts. Now, what do you think that this would cost in Disney? In Disney, this would cost at least, at least 30, I'm saying like more towards $50. It is actually a coin, it's a money pot. So it's like a little piggy bank shaped as Mrs. Potts. Again, I will do a close up in just a moment. This was only $12, $12 guys, like what even? I love it so, so much. I already know where she's gonna go 
on my shelves to celebrate her. She's so cute. I got a little Mrs. Potts piggy bank for $12. Next up, I got an item that does not fit. So I will say their pajamas run really, really small and they don't have a lot of size larges, which I need a large because they're really tiny. So I ended up purchasing a medium and I'm not gonna be able to wear these. These were only for the set. These were $8, $8 for the shorts and for the top. So the bottom just has like Mrs. Potts and has chip and there's a bunch of bubbles. It's pink, it's blue, it matches my aesthetic, it's so pretty. And then the top is just Mrs. Potts and it says, do you want to see a trick? No, want to see me do a trick, excuse me. And it just has Mrs. Potts and I believe, yep, chip right on the bottom. So Mr., not Mr. Chip, excuse me, chip is actually saying that. So, so cute and it is $8, but sadly this will not fit. The shirt will fit, so I'm gonna keep the shirt but the shorts will not fit. I plan on making a pair of Minnie Mouse ears using the bottoms. And the final Disney fandom item that I picked up is just a little Mickey Mouse coin purse. So this was $5, pretty reasonable, and it's just Mickey Mouse. You open it up over here and you can put your coins into it. Love it, love it, love it. So before we get back on into the clothes, I'm gonna show you a couple of the shower-esque items that I purchased. The first shower-esque items, like, can you even? This is so precious. It's probably one of the most precious things I've ever seen in my entire life. It is an ice cream cone loofah. Adam and I just redid our upstairs bathroom. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen the whole transition and the whole progress of redoing our upstairs bathroom. So I just wanted to get a couple of items that I could put into the bathtub and this item was absolutely one of them. So this is just a little ice cream cone loofah and it was $1.50. The next thing that I purchased for $1.50 is so magical, so majestic. It is just a hanging sponge in the shape of a rainbow. I probably won't even use this. I'm most likely just gonna put this in the tub at the very top, more for like decoration. I just couldn't pass it up because it is so, so cute. And then I purchased an item that I have never owned before. Another item that I have never owned before. It is a shower cap, a shower cap, but it was so cute. It's like pink and kind of like a fuchsia polka dot looking shower cap. And it was only $2.50. So I'm not really sure when this video is going to go live. It is currently Monday, July 2nd, and 4th of July is just a couple of days away. So I saw this shirt. Again, I'm not sure if this is gonna go up before 4th of July or after 4th of July, but I bought this shirt with intentions of wearing it on 4th of July. It is just a, how much money was this? A $7 red Coca-Cola t-shirt. I just think that this is so all American, kind of like all American girl. It's really, really cute. I do plan on cutting it and cropping it and wearing it with a pair of ripped jean shorts. And then I have my Converse's and I bought a little hat. Your girl goes all out for 4th of July. I absolutely love all things patriotic. So I again bought this shirt. It was only $7. I hopefully will crop it. And if you guys see this video before 4th of July, you know what I plan on wearing on the holiday. To go along with the Coca-Cola t-shirt that I plan on wearing on 4th of July, I also purchased this for nighttime. It is a little crop sweater and it just says USA 1989. I don't really know why it says 1989, but it just has a little flowy American flag right on the bottom. 
I bought this with intentions of wearing it for an Instagram post at night while I'm holding sparklers. If you guys see it, it worked. It probably won't work because I just, I don't know how to model at all. I'm the most awkward person when it comes to taking pictures. I'm really trying to like boost my Instagram a little bit, not in the sense of like getting more followers, just in the sense of like posting more pictures and trying to post more like fashion-esque pictures and it's not going well guys. It's not going well at all because I don't know how to model. I don't know how to do like all of the like little stances and all of the movements and all the facial expressions and it's just, I am not meant to be a model. I am not meant to be a model. I will not quit my job as a teacher to become a model because it's so, so bad. So I bought this again because it's really cute and I plan on wearing it a lot. It was only $9. I really want to get a picture holding sparklers at nighttime for my Instagram. So stay tuned, guys. Let's see. Will it actually work out for Allison? Probably not. Probably not because I'm an awkward, awkward person. I love this dress. I love this dress, guys, more than I love most things. The detailing is just superb. It's gorgeous. I plan on wearing this to my uncle's wedding. It was only $18, $18. So it is a little pricier than most of the items that I've been showing you previously, but it is more of like a dressier dress rather than just casual everyday wear. I'm going to be, again, wearing this to my uncle's wedding. It has meshy sleeve so it's very flowy allows all the air to come through but i also plan on wearing this when i transition into the fall time as a teacher this is a perfect teacher dress a perfect teacher dress i usually get teacher clothes at like new york and company i don't really shop at express because it's a little expensive for my liking but any of those types of stores this dress would be like forty dollars it was eighteen dollars and i'm going to be again wearing it for a wedding and then wearing it while i'm teaching score So that was the end of the second large bag. We're gonna now move on to the last bag. There's only a couple of items in here, like four or five items in here. The first item, it was 75 cents. Nobody really cares about these. They're just cotton rounds. There are 125 cotton pads in here for 75 cents. I mean, do you guys like it? You wanna see it? Probably not. Next up, the second to last item. I know that I just said there are like five or six items in here, but you'll see what I mean in just one minute. So the second to last item that I picked up was $7 as well. It is for my office and it's just a little calendar. It says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, has the actual numbers of date and then it has the month and it has a really cute like marble look to it. So I thought that it would match the aesthetics of my office pretty well and it was only $7. And last but not least, the final item or items I should say in this haul, I had no intentions of purchasing until I went to the cashier and this is how they get you. They put such awesome stuff at the cashier block, like seriously, such awesome stuff. It's kind of like they just reeled me right on in. I found one of these items and I ended up picking up five of them because they were only 90 cents a piece. 90 cents guys. So I got a Primark iced lemonade scented candle burns up to 16 hours for 90 cents. 90 cents. I got five of these. Five of these for $4.50. Do the math guys. Go to Bath and Body Works, get one candle for $25 or go to Primark, get five candles, probably have more wax, don't fall, than the one from Bath and Body Works and only spend $4.50. They smell so good. Like I was standing at the cashier and the cashier is like, oh, you have to smell this, it smells so good. And I was like, oh yeah, they're just trying to get me to spend more money. I smelt it and I was like, I need five of those. I need five of them so I can put one in every single room on my first floor. So they got me, but I'm really happy that they got me because this is a steal. Like, I feel like I was stealing from Primark when I walked out of there with five candles for $4.50.
And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoy my videos. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of your love and all of your support here on my channel. Thank you for bringing me to almost 300,000 subscribers. Thank you. Like, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so, so much. If you guys like this haul, please give it a big thumbs on up and let me know if you would like to see more of these hauls for each season. So this again was for the summer, but if you would like to see one for fall, winter, spring, etc., just let me know in the comments below. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys!